Welcome to Bite Size Thoughts. Before I dive into today's topic, I need you to do me a favor and watch this. The conclusion that the Earth might actually be flat. That's not me. It was never me. Those aren't my words. That's what's called a deep fake. That is absolutely insane to me. AI has gotten to a point where we used to see AI Will Smith horribly eating spaghetti to the point now where people thought that was actually Neil deGrayson, who's a physicist and an astronomer who has had a lot of impact, I guess, in the science fields. I don't know too much about the guy. I've seen his face a couple times, especially in memes, but this deep fake was so convincing that his own friends thought he was actually turning to the flat earth side, which is insane, by the way. He had to make a whole video addressing this saying, no, this is not me. Somebody is using AI and spreading misinformation. Isn't that scary? Isn't that terrifying? So that's what today's topic is about. How AI and just misinformation is gonna be insane. Absolutely insane in the next few years. There's already been articles and research done about how almost half of the people online are not actually real people. They're bots. So if that's already the case, imagine AI implemented with all these things. Are we going to have just a dead internet theory actually come to fruition? Are you going to have people mistakenly arrested for crimes they didn't commit because the AI videos were so convincing that person was actually sat on their ass eating chips on a Tuesday watching a game? Who knows, dude? Who knows? I, I believe there was also a similar story not too long ago talking about how they've added AI detection in these cameras at schools to help find people with firearms like in, in, on campus, you know? One kid was carrying a bag of Doritos and the AI detection software said, hey, this guy might have a gun. So they, you know, all went after this kid and it was literally just a bag of Doritos, okay? It's absolutely nuts. And when it comes down to the actual AI software, Aren't the people who programming it creating a bias for the AI initially? That's my question for it. You know, I'm not saying that is happening, that isn't happening, but isn't that a real concern? Because if the AI is going to be learning and, and self-teaching itself, whoever coded it to, and designed it is the one that kind of guided it for self-teaching, -te you know? So how is that going to even work appropriately and objectively, not subjectively? That's a whole separate question. AI is very scary to me, but I'm curious on what you think. Let me know in the comments.